Hey guys, um, so I just wanted to get on here and film a March favorites video for you guys because I haven't filmed one in forever and I really like doing these videos. So I decided to show you some of the things that I've been loving. And again, I got home too late and so there's this like, extremely annoying light over here. I know it's probably annoying, but I swear that I'm getting a camera soon. So like, don't be mad at me. Um... Anyways, I'm just going to jump right into some of the things that I'm loving. Um, a huge one right now is, like, tinted lip balms and just lip balms in general. I mean, it's springtime now, but we're still kind of transitioning. Um, you know, my lips are still a little bit dry from the winter and things like that. So, the one that I'm wearing right now is the Maybelline Baby Lips. And, where's the name? Pink Punch. They got SPF 25 in them. So it looks like that. It's a really, really bright pink. Like I said, I'm wearing it. But there's a tint. And there's it on my lips. So, the thing I don't like about these is this, or this one in particular is the smell. There's just some fruitiness of it that just rubs me the wrong way. Like, I'm really picky on, like, certain fruity scents and stuff. So, I really don't like that. Um, now, a big surprise comes from a recent e.l.f. haul that I did. Or, well, I haven't shown it to you yet, but I did e.l.f. haul. I bought stuff. It's in pink, and it's their lip balm in SPF 15. Looks like that. Um, and it twists up, and there's the color. Oh, a little blocky in the camera. And this one isn't, like, near as pigmented at all. Like, it's really not. You probably want to be able to see that. You can kind of see it right there. Um, but it's minty, and it smells minty, and it feels minty, and I just love that. And I feel like it stays on really good. Like, when I drink and stuff at work, um, I can still feel it on my lips, and I really like it. And it's not, like I said, it's not as tinted as the other one, but my lips are really, like, pigment pigmented on their own. And with this, it just kind of mutes them a little bit and gives them like a prettier pink shade so this is a definite thumbs up in my book i really really like this i've been carrying it with me in my makeup bag every day to work um next is i don't know if you can see but on my top lash line i've been loving brown liner like black's cool and all but it's like you know it's it's getting spring and brown's just more neutral and not as harsh and I don't know, I just there's something I like about brown liner for spring. And the one that I'm using is this Ulta Long Lasting Waterproof Liner. It's just their automatic one that twists up like that. And I just love this, guys. Like, I really... It's so creamy. It's a pretty black or brown shade. Um, and I just, I love brown liner for spring. I don't put... Um, liner on my lash or my waterline anymore because I noticed that every time I did that my my eyes would water so much that like it'd be smeared down my face or it'd just be like watering and irritated so much that it was just pointless so I just put eyeshadow down on the bottom lash line now and just line my top um top lid my whatever I'm like talking way too fast and getting confused. But anyways, the point is that I love this. And I've been using it like every day for the whole month. And I can't get enough of it. And the next two things were a combo that I'm wearing. And I got the both of the Sephora like lash things. Lash sampler thingamabobs. Um, and I'm like, I'm going to use them until they're done. You know what I mean? Like I'm not going to like... Try one, open a new one, try another one. Like, I don't want to waste it and them to go dry because between the two packs I got, there's so many. Well, wow, there's a spider on the inside of my screen with this window. Okay. Um, and they're both from Bare Minerals. And this one is just the Buxom. And it looks like this. This one can still probably go a little bit longer. A wee bit, anyway. Um... I do like this one. It's just more like defining and lengthening. It doesn't really give me much volume. It does separate really nicely. Um, and this is the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Volumizing. 
this was my favorite of the two. It's a regular wand, um, like fiber or whatever bristles and not the rubber wand. And this one I, I like really love. That it just it gives a lot of thickness and volume and length. Um, and I use, I put was putting this one on first and then layering with this one, which I normally am not one to layer my mascaras. And I just I love the combo. So I'm really really liking it. And right now I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, which I know a lot of people like. I don't know if you can. I don't know how to make you see my lashes. So, it's okay. Um, I don't, I don't like love it, but um, and here's this blush that's called by Elf. Um, and it's called Candid Coral, and I'm wearing it today. It's just this pretty, pretty coral color. Just watch it. Can you see that? I just, I really like it. It's really pretty for spring because it's a peachy color, peachy coral, and like I said, I'm wearing it, and I know I'm going to hit paint on this because I use this constantly, so I love that, and I like love blush in general. Um, That's pretty much all with the like makeup makeup. I don't actually have any eyeshadow, which you guys know I love eyeshadow in here, because I have, I need to do a makeup collection because I seriously have so many like palettes and things like that that... It's just, it's too, I'm trying to, like, I make myself change palettes. Like, palettes are so universal. You can basically get any look with one palette most of the time that I would wear anyway. Um, and so, like, really, if I want to just use one palette all the time, I could. But I make myself change it up because I have so many eyeshadow palettes. So, this month, I've used the Naked, the NYX Butt Naked palette. Um, and the Naked too, and I like all of them, but it's just, I haven't used, like, one consistently, because I'm trying not to do that. There's a hair. Awkward. Okay, this is still kind of makeup-y related, and this is the Sigma F10 brush. Looks like this, and I love this brush. Um, I use it for blush. It really gets it nice and then sometimes I even turn it this way and I'll use it for bronzer I really do use it for both um so I just wipe it off before I use it for bronzer and I really really like this brush so this is a definite recommend from me <clears throat> um then I picked these up like last month or something but they're the tweezerman tweezers and they're zebra and these are the best tweezers I ever I have ever used, and I never wanted to buy them because they're like twenty five dollars. I think that's ridiculous, but they really are great. So I am glad that I got them. I pluck my eyebrows like every day. It's super annoying. Um, and then I have two nail polishes. Um, this one is <clears throat> China China Glaze Aquadelic, and this was on my fingers until I took it off. I'm gonna paint my nails tonight because. I just finally got my Zoya nail, Zoya nail polishes I got ordered in the mail and they were doing the three free thing so but anyways this is like a gorgeous bright greeny more bluey green more blue than green um, cream color and I love creams and then this is from the new OPI collection and it's a roll in the Hague it's just really bright orange and I love this for like spring and summer brights are really in right now I know a lot of people like hate orange and I don't understand why like I understand you don't want an orange like foundation and cake face or whatever but what's wrong with orange nail polish I don't know it looks so pretty on my toes I really like it um and this is like the last like beauty-esque thing and then it gets random um but this is from the dollar store and it's called La Vida Loca I think I might have showed this before you can tell I used the heck out of it because this is a big bottle um and it's a knockoff for Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy and it really does smell like exactly the same and I think this it's even in my opinion lasts pretty much all day I can I spray it and I can still smell it at the end of the day so I really like this and it's not as expensive so I don't feel bad about spraying the heck out of it so yeah so on to my randoms I only have three and um, this first one is some vitamins I used to take these when I was a kid and I love them. I used to eat like multiple a day, which I really don't think you're supposed to do. But they taste just like candy. Um, but they're the Flintstones Complete Vitamins. And they have like, um, but they're, I mean, they're really good for you. I mean, they're vitamins. And it says on here somewhere I read when I bought them that, oh, it's for adults and children. So, 
this is good because I can't swallow pills and a lot of vitamins are like huge and these just taste good so this is why I wanted to get these um next thing is a candle this is from Bath and Body Works and I stocked up on this because they were recently having their two for 20 and it's their um candle and green grass I know green grass but it's Mm, if you have a Bath and Body Works, just go smell it. Like, if you like leaves, I feel like you'd like this because it's one of those natural and seasony scents, earth tone, oh, earth tone, whatever, you know what I mean. But it just smells like grass and spring and fresh. Oh, I've never smelled a candle that I've liked more than green grass. So, my friends, like, made fun of me when I bought that. Like, green grass, really? I'm like, yeah. And then the last thing, that must be dirty over there. Last thing that I bought was, or that I, I bought in March, yeah, I did buy it in March, beginning, I think, is my Kindle Touch. So, completely in love with this. This thing is amazing. I got my mom wanting one, my Mima wanting one. Um, I'm finishing up Catching Fire on this right now, the second book in the Hunger Games trilogy. And this is just so convenient and handy, and if you like to read, I suggest getting a Kindle. I thought I would seriously miss, like, the books and the pages and, you know, all that kind of sappy crap or whatever. Um, but really, I'll never go back. <laughs> I love the Kindle so much. So, yeah, guys, that was my favorites video. So, um, if you post it, if you have a favorites video, link it down below um, or post it as a video response. Leave me some comments, as always. And, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.